Lyme disease is a bacterial infection. It can strike anyone. Doing almost anything. The CDC estimates that there are 380,000 new cases of Lyme disease each year in the United States. It's thought that roughly 20% of these cases will develop into a chronic illness. In 2015, healthcare spending in the United States was $3.2 trillion. Roughly 86% of the spending was used to care for people with one or more chronic medical conditions. Chronic disease drains personal, government, and business resources. For patients, out-of-pocket medical expenses can be high at a time when medical disability and lost workdays diminish income. Government expenditures for medical and social services are higher for the chronically ill. At work, ill employees may be less productive than their healthy co-workers. Lyme-related costs are significant. Research out of Johns Hopkins suggests that the U.S. healthcare system pays almost $1.3 billion per year on Lyme-related medical care. Based on Zhang's 2006 cost analysis, in 2015, the average cost per case would have been $11,248. Most cases of Lyme disease that are diagnosed and treated early in the illness cost far less. The hefty average cost per case reflects the medical needs and disabilities of those who develop a chronic illness. Zhang's value includes direct medical costs and indirect costs. Payments for health aids, medical-related travel, and performance of household tasks normally done by the patient or family members are examples of indirect costs. Lost work days for parents of ill children is another indirect cost. In many families, multiple people are infected. As the number of household cases increases, so too would Lyme-associated costs. Lyme disease is spread by infected black-legged ticks. Informing people about how to avoid ticks and tick bites can prevent new infections. Training doctors to properly manage known tick bites and the early stages of Lyme disease can prevent chronic disease and its associated costs. Why Lyme and Lyme disease education? Because the infection's high toll could and should be lowered. <laughs>